All right, so let's go over how to scale out of orders on TradingView. So TradingView, great platform. I use it for all my charting purposes um, and uh, trading futures also. So they have TradeStation, Trade of Eight, Optimus Futures. Uh, I know a lot of people trade Forex uh, directly out of here and then even some crypto just with Gemini. Uh, but I know a lot of people also enter uh, their positions in an actual different brokerage and only use TradingView for charting purposes. Um, but in those other uh, trading platforms, what you have a lot of time is multiple take profit areas. And that's something I think TradingView kind of uh, lacks in their um, user experience at one point. So uh, what we're looking at right now is just NASDAQ futures. I have it on the 15 second time frame, And uh, I guess what I'm going to show you is uh, how to set multiple uh, take profit areas. So let's say we, for whatever reason, we want to uh, catch this move. We'll do uh, a market buy and let's just say we want five contracts. Um, I always take a uh, take profit and stop loss just because God forbid the internet goes out. You got to have something to protect yourself. So we'll uh, enter here. And just because this only allows you to take profit on your complete initial position, and that's not what we want. I'm going to move the stop loss down here just so we actually don't get stopped out. Um, but again, so TradingView only allows you initially to add a take profit for your complete position. So we're going to cancel out of that. So right now, we don't have a take profit. Um, and if we were to go back to here, move it back up again it's for a full five position it's not what we want um, so let's say we're targeting well, we entered right here and our stop let's just say would be down here so let's just say we're targeting uh two to one all right well how do we exit let's say half of our position so we'll just do we have a position of five contracts. Um, we'll just exit out or five shares, whatever instrument you're trading. So um, let's say we want to exit three right up here. So what I'm going to have to go do is back in the um, trading panel right here. Uh, we're going to want to hit sell. I'm just going to change this to three. I'm just going to back out and that's it. Now I'm going to right click on this line go to trade and sell three and that's it and then if I want to um, have an additional take profit area uh, to close out the position what we're going to have to do is go back to this area and now change it to two click back on the chart right click again hit trade and sell to. So now we have multiple take profit areas. Um, the one issue with this though that I would um, advise you to uh, definitely keep track of is let's just say, I mean, so yeah, we're, we're very behind in this position right now. If I was to exit this, if I was to completely close this out, it will kill this stop loss just because this was part of the trade itself. So there we go. But these are still left. Meaning that if the price goes up here and you leave your computer, it will initiate a sell order. So as price is going up, I mean, you might get a great deal or it could absolutely kill your account. So um, just be aware that that is something uh, that occurs when you actually close out your position. These uh, scaled uh, take profit positions, which are, are sell limit orders, are still um, valid. So. Once you actually close a position, make sure you go back out and uh, and completely close all um, you know take profit positions that were associated with it. So that's it for this video. I hope you got something out of it, and uh, you know if you have a better uh, way that you do it, please just leave it in the comments. Tell me I'm stupid, and uh, you know I can learn from it.